What is going on, everybody, and welcome to the Pokemon Brand Nuzlocke with me, Saint Denial. Ah, it's been a funny week. I've not wanted to record this series because of the absolutely abysmal outing I had last time in episode 15. But we've done some hard work, got Gyarados now level 45. We've got Savior up to level 45 as well, I think. Um, and yeah, we've just been grinding. What I did was I went to... Where did I go? Uh, just south... I went to Castro Valley and I went south of Castro Forest because that's where the highest level um, wild Pokemon that I've encountered so far are. So I went there, ground up, and I've just... I went back... I've, uh, I've gone back to the gym and then chickened out last second and decided I'm actually going to go back and try and travel south and then west of Castro Forest um, surf west until we get to something like Oreg Road or Level Air City or something daft like that. And then see what's in that city, possibly another gym. But hopefully we'll get some levels along the way. Because I still don't think this gym's going to get beaten. If it, I th if it was a different type gym with that same level of Pokemon, I feel like I could do it. But Alakazam is uh, just going to destroy me every single time. And there's, oh, there's the truth about that. Oh, save you up to 47. That's useful. So let's whip straight through here. And then when we get on to the actual surfing path, we will stop with the uh, speed up quite so much. But I just want to get there as soon as possible. So just in case you were, weren't around for the last one, what are you doing here? Go watch the one before. But uh, we actually went to the psychic type gym in the hometown and got absolutely bodied by the gym leader's last Pokemon, Alakazam. Uh, and it left me with one Pokemon in the box that I could use, which was the Magikarp. And then Blastoise was the one that I chose to revive. Uh, that's the cause that I put into place here. If I lose again now, that's the end of it. Um, I'm not going for it again. Which is why I kind of don't want to take on the gym straight away, because I think I'm just going to lose. If I lose straight away, that's the end of the episode, and I'm going to have nothing else to do. Oh. There's a building over there. And it's a gym. In the middle of Castro Forest. Yo, champion making. Joe uses only normal Pokemon. Normal. Average Joe with his normal average Joe Pokemon. Out of city Pokemon gym, leader Joe. We're in trainers Mora. Okay. So, oh, this is a nice little side. Do you know what? So let's battle a gym. Uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, just battle this guy. See what level his Pokemon are, and then we can sort of work out what level the gym leader is going to be, and whether it's actually higher than the one I'm trying to beat at the minute. So he's got a far fetched at 42. You know what? It could be a good idea to take on this gym first. So let's have a go at it. See how much trouble the trainers give us, and then uh, we can do a judging on that. So, anyway, we're not doing what I just said. Let's take on a gym. Let's get a gym badge. And maybe by the time we've done this gym, I'll have a high enough level to take on the next one. So, Tauros. I don't have any type advantages against the Tauros, but the Dig, I think, is probably the best option. Goes for the Leer, which would lower defense if it hit, but it didn't. And we get an important critical. Tail Whip. Wait, or does Leer lower attack? Tail Whip, lower defense. Something like that. We'll hit the surf. And that, I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. You know what? I think we might be able to do this, Jim. And now we have Fero. So let's switch in Miss Carpool for you. Uh, Miss Carpool, I was just going to show you the updated moveset for Miss Carpool as well. We've got a Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Dragon Breath, and Surf. So lots of type coverage. Um, which I thought was the best thing to do seeing as both of these guys are water types so i come up against electric and leaf i'm absolutely battered so i need to make sure they've got the diverse move sets so i can deal with that i just said a leaf when i mean grass type by the way i knew what i meant let's take on this guy now if these get progressively harder and we get towards the end and i think maybe we can't take on the gym leader then i'll just turn around walk out and do my original plan of surfing left taking on the trainers there but I'm optimistic quietly down low optimistic yeah, whirlwind's gonna do nothing 
Yeah, there it is. Man, I'm so... Honestly, I'm so sore. I had, like, the most mental workout of my life yesterday. My elbows have never been so sore. Struggling just to lean on my chair right now. Honestly, I need to, I've got some weak arms. I need to go and get, get that sorted out. Let's get some of them uh, muscle implants. Make me look, look like I'm some sort of Hulk. I hate Fury Swipes. I'm 44 Persian, eh? You know, if, if he's got like a Persian, like level 50, the gym leader, let's say, and it's got Slash, then uh, GG. Good game. Thanks for coming. Because he will absolutely annihilate me with that. Ah, there it is. Beautiful. Oh, critical again. You know what? I've been unlucky with criticals. So, this sort of feels like my luck's turning around. It was the critical psychic that finishes off in that last gym, actually. I feel like if we didn't get that, we might have been able to finish him off, but... Nah. Right, let's switch Miss Carp up front for a bit and get you trained up. And... You are abnormal. Thus not welcome here. That's not very nice. In fact, that's akin to bullying. Super nerd has eradicate that thing. He's got hyper fang. So let's go for the flamethrower. It's also got quick attack, which is a bit scary as well. No, it's not actually. Flamethrower does. Yeah, we'll go for another one. Ah, uh, should have gone for quick attack, eradicate. That's good. And um, next we have Tauros again. I think we dealt with Tauros pretty well last time. Uh, let's try a Dragon Breath. Mm. Try a bit of everything, work out. Cause I've, there's a good chance the gym leader might actually have a Tauros. It's one of the more powerful normal types, isn't it? So. I could do with working out what's going to be the best against it. Oh, Surf's good, but it's a critical again. Just when I need it. Thank you. Next we go with Raticate. Now, oh, I'll start for you. Because you're not that scary. And try Dragon Breath on you. Okay, so that's doing well. So Radicate's focusing energy. That is increasing his critical hit chance. Goes for the quick attack. Still doesn't get the crit. And hopefully Surf is enough to finish it off. Hopefully. Yes, I'm mashing A. I don't know if you can hear I'm doing that thing that you used to do when you played Game Boy, where when a move hits, oh, wiggly tough. I'm saying when a move hits, or when you throw a Pokeball, you just mash A and hope that that means it's going to catch, or it's going to hit harder. It doesn't work. So Thunder Shock doesn't do that much. Double slap. Oh, that's quite scary. Man, I, I hate wiggly tough. Look at that thing, man. Whoever designed that and put it into a children's game is, like, trying to give people nightmares. That should have been the ghost in Lavin Town, if we're completely honest. Surf's good, gets a critical, but it's, it's not very effective. Why is water not very effective against Wigglytuff? Strange. Oh, well. Doesn't really matter. And this carp will get 46. And we can get through the next gate. Again, you, I, I'm pretty sure you can do these quizzes. Like in Blaine's gym. Pure City is in Johto. No. Yeah, to open the gates without battling the trainers. But I really need to get experience and get leveled up. So we're going to go through every single trainer on the way to the gym. Also, if I die at this gym leader, then I want to at least be able to get like 20 minutes out of this episode before I have to say, that is the end of the series. <sighs> Persian level 48 though, that's scary. Screech, what's that? Defense harshly falls? Yeah. So, Surf. Uh, I might just have to rely on Surf here. Because defense is down. Oh, that's good enough. And it fails. I'm hit it again. If this finishes it off. I'm happy. There we go. It must be. Um, I'm guessing that thing's got slash. So if it goes for screech and then slash, 
you know, thanks for playing. That's the end of it, so I'm glad I uh, managed to stop by him. Right, let's take on this guy as well. I'm really normal. You know what? It's not fun being normal. Be different. Hint. And you're a super nerd, so you're definitely not normal. In the nicest way. Oh, Snorlax at level 44. That's powerful. Okay, so let's try the flamethrower. Maybe we'll get a burn. Should be nice. Yeah. Don't get the burn, but it'll do. Body slam. Ooh, yeah. I can go again, but if you if it hits me with a critical, then I'm good. I'm not good. Or if it hits me with something else that's more powerful than that. So let's take our chances with a super potion. Goes for Harden. If I'd known it was going to go for Harden, I would have hit it, but I didn't. Flamethrower again. Goes for Harden again. That's alright, because this is special, so it's not. Defense isn't making any difference to it, I think. But it goes for rest. Okay. So really now, this is whether I can finish it off before it wakes up from its rest. Flamethrower is probably the more powerful move, but I get stab on Surf because I'm a water type. So, let's get the stab Surf. Oh, yeah, that's better, I think. If I can beat this in two more turns, I've, I've beat it. There's a Surf. Right, one more, one more, one more. It wakes up. I at speed, I hit the Surf, and... Yeah, it's going to finish. Definitely. Get in. Cheers, dude. Just a Snorlax he had. Right, let's get another item used. Yeah, also, it's good to battle these trainers because I'm going to have to go and get um, something like more potions before I battle this guy, the gym leader. Maybe hyper potions, although I can't think where hyper potions are sold. I feel like the best I've seen so far is super, so maybe maybe I can't get hypers yet, actually. We'll have a go. Oh, he's got a Chansey! Chansey's cute in this, but lots of HP. Not that powerful, but lots of HP. So, Surf. Probably the most powerful move I've got on Miss Carpool. Oh, wow. Oh, that was dreadful. And it goes for Sing. Yeah, there's so much HP on this thing. Now, I have got my poker flute, so I can make that up straight away, but I'm not going to. Ooh, pardon me. Pizza coming back up. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to get Saviour in there and start the smashing. Well, both these guys have got Surf. I'm going to go for the Octazooka because there's a chance of the poison. I also think Octazooka is more powerful than Surf, but I don't know, I don't know that for sure. Oh, there's the poison again. Yes. Comes into play. Like it. Lowers my attack, but I'm going for special attacks, so I don't really care. Uh, and now let's go for Dig. Hurt bite poison. Hit it. Come on. Yes, does the damage. Down he goes. Thank you very much. And next we have Pidgeot. And if I stay, I think I can stay in, because I've got Ice Beams left, I think. Oh, I went for Dig. God damn, too much, too much mashing. Well, Dig's not going to hit because flying type. Pidgeot goes for wing attack. Which does nothing. And I have got Ice Beans left, so that's good. Because it should. At least two shot. I think one. Oh, that's close. Whirlwind's not going to do anything. And I'm going to save that Ice Beam and use an Octazooka. Ooh, it misses though. That's okay. It's not doing any damage to me really, so I can afford to miss a couple of times. And that'll be the Octazooka to finish it off. Thank you very kindly, Pidgeot. Thanks for coming. Yowza! Too hot. And is this... Oh, no. Okay, I can take on this guy too. And then we go back to another town, suck up on potions and stuff, and then come back. Here's another Wigglytuff. Oh, Miss Copper's asleep. Should I use the poker flute in between battle? Got to think about it. These things. That's all right. I don't think this Wigglytuff's... Well, you never know what it's got, but 
I don't think it's too dangerous. Ugh, famous last words again. Beautiful. Defense curl. That's fine. You can do that as much as you want, my friend. So, we'll go for the surf. I uh, don't really do much. Oh, yeah, not very effective against it last time either, was it? For some reason. Try the flamethrower. Yeah, maybe that's a bit more like it. Goes for defense curl. Not really going to make any odds because flamethrower is special. Not attacking. Disable. Get surf. Not interested in that. I'm not using it anyway. Flamethrower misses. No way. <sighs> disable again. We'll disable. Dragon Breath, I'm not using it anyway. It shouldn't be very effective against Wicked Tough because it's a fairy type, so it probably wouldn't even hit. And there we go. Who we got next? Clefable. I like Clefable. So we're waiting for the Thunderbolt first. Yeah. Oh, Metronome's dangerous. <gasps> That was so close. Horn drills a one-hit KO move, so if that had hit... I'll, honestly, I would have been furious. So the Surf comes in. Oh, thank goodness for the critical there. My metronome is dangerous, I do not like that. Snuffed out. And next is the Gym Leader. You know... Oh... No, it's too risky. I need to go and try and get some some sort of item that's going to help me here. Like some more potions. So, I, yeah, remember I've got these two on my team as tier, uh, TM slaves. Come on, man. HM slaves, but I can't actually use them in battle. So where's... I mean, I think Castro was the most... Sort of the most recent city, so... Hmm... Oh, we've got hyper potions here. Sick. So let's take some of them. Thank you. And we'll also have X Accuracy Super Repel. Um, now, we'll hold off for that. And I can't fly anywhere close to that gym, so I'm just going to run back through the uh, Castro Forest. Pokemon Pole Quest just popped up on my screen. By the way, if you don't follow um, Pokemon Pole Quest, find them on Twitter. It's, it's it's good. It's entertaining. We will get out of here. Yeah, Pokemon Pole Quest. It's basically a guy that's taken the... Uh, uh, done a custom um, Dungeons and Dragons 5e rule set based around uh, Pokemon, and he's playing. He's basically playing the game, and he's doing it, making decisions via poll on uh, on Twitter. And it's very good. It's getting very interesting. So let's surf over here, dude. Did I even did I even heal up at the Pokemon Center? I didn't, did I? Oh, damn it. This is what I mean. Well, you know what? We're going for it anyway. I think I've got enough moves to sort it out, so it shouldn't be too bad. We'll go for the super potions just to heal up. And then hyper potions will be put in battle for when I need lots of healing. And we're back in the gym. So let's run through here. Oh, it's hot today. I've got sweat on. Maybe I'm just nervous about this gym. <laughs> because I know what happened the last time I went into a gym. I got absolutely destroyed. So here we go. Here's not Blaine. Ha! I am Joe, the leader of this gym. My normal Pokemon have never lost a match. Saint. Well, I'll do anything for the white badge. Well, that was a really shit line, Saint. And here's an alien. Okay, so, starting off at level 50. That 
that's very interesting because depending on what else he's got, that could end very badly. Oh, you know what? As long as we hit the next move, Raticate's been pretty simple. Now to worry about who's coming next. And now we have Persian. See, this is what I was saying. This thing goes for Slash. It goes for Screech. It goes for Slash next. It's going to make things very, very difficult. <gasps> the critical hit makes the difference. Get in. Come on, Miss Carpool. You are a beast. Putting in some great work. Pidgeot. I'm staying in because I've got plenty of Thundershot left. Or Thunderbolt, rather. So that should finish this guy off. Come on. Yeah, another one. That's fine. Goes for Whirlwind. No effect. Thunderbolt. Thank you very much. That's the end of that battle. Next, we have Snorlax. Yes. That makes me happy. 53! Oh my god! I'll never beat this guy. He's just going to rest the hell out of me. Okay, what do I do? Right, let's, let's try and stick it stick in it for now and see where we get. Body slam. Oh, my days. Oh, that's powerful. That is so powerful. Goes for rest. That body slam's scary. He gets a critical hit on that and I'm down. Okay, so. What's the best thing to try here? Let's go for Thunderbolt. Oh, this is going to be a real grind. So we hit the surf. That's good. Goes for double edge. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes! Oh, oh what do I do? Okay, dilemma. If I hit it now with a surf, it's down. But if I miss and it goes for another attacking move, I'm down. If I heal up, it's probably going to rest and then I've got to go through all this again and there's a chance it can finish me off. <sighs> okay, we're going to risk it. With our last surf, please hit. It hits. It hits. It hits, it hits, it hits. It does the damage. Get in! Come on, Miss Carpool! I knew there was a reason I got you out of the bloody PC. Survives a double edge on one HP and then hits with the surf to get us the white badge. Yes! Oh, I'm so glad I finally got a good timestamp to write down. I'm sick of writing down people dying. Got the badge, motherfuckers. Yeah! Since you're special. Thanks. I don't know if my mum normally tells me that. I'll give you something else. Cheers, lad. Saint received TM15. Hyper Beam, yes. It's so strong that your Pokemon must recharge after using it. Thank you very much. Whoa, wow, well, I feel like this was worth doing just for the getting that gym badge. I think we've done really well there. And, I mean... Maybe I'm just feeling particularly confident because of how well that just went, but I kind of just want to go take on that other gym. Oh, I don't know. I don't know whether we should do it or not. Ugh. And then do I use that hyper beam? Yes. So, Hyper Beam, I'm going to use to take over. Oh, that Octazooka's come really handy, though. You know what? I'm going to do it. I've got Surf on there, so that's my water type. So, when I get to that Alakazam, I'm going to weaken it down and then Hyper Beam it, and hopefully, we can get it gone. Oh! 
You know what? We're going to go for it. We're doing it. We are doing this. <sighs> Back to Haywood City. No, that's not the right city, actually. We need to go to Seashore City. That's right. And this is why I've got my HM slaves with me, because I need to cut through here. Oh. And then cut through here. No, 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 no. And where's the leader? Oh, yeah, I have to circle up here. I remember. And she is on this platform here. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm twitching a little bit at the prospect of this battle. Ah, oh, come on. Let's see who can do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm coming in with confidence. Hey, Cheryl. Well, oh, I'm not going to take the piss out of her because I really don't want to upset her. I really want that side badge. feeling this. So we start off with a star me. It's good, I've got a thunderbolt for you. Tackle. Doesn't do much, but it does get a crit. Thunderbolt. Two of them, I think. Yes. Another one. There we go. Okay, good, 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 good. Slow bro. Uh, pot water type. So, Thunderbolt. Still probably the best move. Oh, yes. Perfect. The thing is, this happened at the last gym. I was absolutely annihilating, and then uh, Alakazam comes out to play. So, I'll not get my hopes up until I actually get to Alakazam. Executor. I've got the flamethrower. Ah, oh, but I used Thunderbolt, what an idiot. That's alright though. Oh, got the crit. Oh, that is super effective against Executor. I wonder why that is. Oh, not like that. I'm going to take it again. And that's the end of it. Right. Okay, here's where things are going to get fun. With an Alakazam. It doesn't have anything super effective against me, but it's Psy Beam and it's Psychic are so powerful. So powerful, in fact, that I'm going to actually heal. Which I wouldn't do normally right now with attack, but if it does hit me, I need to see how much damage it's going to do. It goes for Reflect, which is going to... Physical moves, I think. It reflects physical moves. But that's good because these are all special. Okay, so I'm gonna go for Surf because it's stab. It goes for Psy Beam. Unless that's a crit, I don't think it kills, but it could. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's okay. So it's Psychic. I really need to be scared of from this guy. Okay, the Surf's good. See now, if I hit it with another Surf, is it gonna go for Rest? Because I could do with getting its health down and then swapping out and using that hyper beam. You know what? Let's try a thunderbolt. Now oh, there's the psychic. That's scary. Oh, and it's a crit again. Oh no! Come on! Jeez. Okay, so we go for the Hyper Beam. Here comes another Psychic. This is what wiped out Savior last time as well. Come on, not a critical today. Not a critical today. Eat it up. Eat... It's another critical! Oh. Hyper Beam hits. And thank the fucking Lord, Hyper Beam kills. And we get through the gym. Jeez, I... I can't even celebrate. I'm not... I can't... I don't even think I'm happy. I think I'm just relieved. The side badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. I predicted that you wanted a TN to go along with this. Well, I have the perfect one for you. Probably Psychic, and I don't have any Psychic Pokemon. Yeah, so probably not the perfect one for me, is it, if we're honest. Right, we're in a gym, so we've got to actually uh, turf out of here. 
So that's Miss Carpal off the team then, but she did a very good job getting us through one gym and then setting us up perfectly for this gym as well. It was, it was, I didn't really want her to die. If that wasn't a critical hit, I don't think she would have. I didn't want to sack her off, but it was worth it to mean that I can continue with the game. That just means I have to be very careful with Savior from now on. So like I was saying, any sort of uh, grass or electric type basically fucks me up. I really need another encounter. And I don't know where the next one I can get is. If I, oh, I can, if I can get one at all. I mean, it'll be in... If there's another one I can get, it'll be in like, that egg hello town. Uh, let's go see. Uh, didn't want to go that way anyway. See if I can get to this Egalo town over the water. I'll try and avoid as much... Oh, I've still got you on the team. Damn. That's fine. I'll keep it on the team as long as I don't use it in battle. Until I get back to another Pokemon Center. And we'll see if we can get to um, the next town along. Because hopefully there will be some sort of encounter there. Get myself another Pokemon. Start looking shaping up a little bit and there's probably another gym there as well which depending on what type it is so i could just go in with blastoise for example if it is a fire type gym or ground type then i could probably absolutely smash it up with blastoise and not need to uh not need to worry about anything else okay so I'm, I can't remember whether I got an encounter on this route already or not, so I'm going to say that I did because I don't want to... I don't want to cheat. And I'm also going to, if I've got repels, while I'm thinking about it... Oh, I haven't. For fuck's sake. Right, so... I've got to battle this guy then. Oh, no. Okay. Good. Maybe I've already been here and battled him. Just going to avoid as many trainers as I can. I can always come back and battle them again if I feel I need the levels. But the main thing now is just getting into the next town. Is this it? Oh no, but there's a house here. I have a sneaky feeling I've already been down this route. Oh, I know where we are. Okay, this is good because it means I've got a faster way to get back here. Because if we go up here... No thanks. And we go here. We're in uh, we're in the town. Oh wait, are we in Egbert's town? Egbert! Here he is! Yeah, you gave me that shit TM. I remember you, Eggy Eggy. Okay, that's good. So Oh actually while I'm here I can put um Miss Carpal away. Keep the other two because I need them for their HM slaviness. And get back as soon as we can onto that route and get back to our next objective. There we go. Should probably search that underground pass, see if there's anything useful down there, but. Right. We surf. Oh, and there's a the first trainer. That's okay. It's a dugong. And we can use dig. Goes for growl. It's going to fail. So we know it's got growl, which lowers our attack. It's also... Oh, goes for growl again. Really wants to lower our attack. Well, we're going to go for dig again, so... Take that, dugong. There it is. Growl again. Well... If you're just going to keep growling, mate, I'm just going to body you. And that's the bottom line of that. Oh, it's doing its job, though, that growl. Surf, get it done. And there it is. Thank you very kindly. See if it goes to level 49. About to use Azumarill. No, we'll stick in. See, this is the problem with this route. It, they're all going to be... Um, water types and I 
I only have a water type guy, so I've not got an advantage. I'm not going to be able to rush through. Roll Art is so overpowered, that if I keep using a dig, it's going to keep interrupting it. Oh, Rage as well. And that raises its attack. It uses Rage. Oh, it's not doing anything yet. That's all right. We keep digging and keep staying out of its way because as long as we keep digging, its rage can't build and its roll art can't get more powerful. For alligator, no, we have to stay in because that's all we've got. And we'll use a surf, even though it's not that effective. Slash, oh, this is what I mean. So slash has got a high chance of a critical hit. It's got like 80 power and it's a normal type move. So if that Persian had it earlier and it gets a critical hit and it's a stab because it's the same type, um, I mean, it would have just killed me off. So I'm really glad we managed to kill that thing off. And I think Ice Beam might be the best thing against the Feraligator. Yeah. That was risky, but... <sighs> Shows how difficult this is going to be with just one Pokemon. Ooh, just scoot out of your way. What we got? Tentacle. Get rid of you. Thank you. Something pushes you. Okay, so we can't go in there. Egalo City. Okay, so we're in. We're in. Something pushes you. So we can't go in there. That's fine. Rumour is that the Mist Stone can break the barrier. So look out for a Mist Stone, everyone. And we'll heal up my guy and see what anybody in here has got to say. What I'm... We haven't ran into the guy that sells you uh, Magikarp in the original game yet, so it would be nice if he was knocking around, because then he could sell me a Pokemon. But, hey ho! Right, so, Mart, and if anything, just make sure she's not got anything to give us. Nope. If anything, I think all I really want is, oh, come on, when you stop pressing that button, it is more potions. And we'll go for the Hyper Variety, because, more useful. So I've probably got like 15 or 16 in total now. Tell you what, we'll have a few full heals as well. And we will take what we've got. Yeah, I'll have a few max repels too. Just in case I... Oh, pardon me, that pizza again. Just in case I manage to get into a cave that I don't want to be in. <laughs> what do we got here? Park. So there is no gym here. Is what I've learned so far. What do we get in this cave? Well, it's an encounter, so that's... Psyduck! Another fucking water type. And it's only level 8, so... I mean... <sighs> we'll catch it. Oh, dear me. So I'm going to put a max repel down while we just take a quick gander around this cave and see where it is and where it leads to because... Oh, there's beds. Because if this is somewhere... If that's a new cave I've not been in before, then... Oh, I'm confused. Yeah, if that's a new cave that I've not been in before, then that's a good thing. But... Meowth level 20. Uh, I'm guessing this is whatever, this is, counts as the same cave that I've just been in, so... No new encounters there. I'm trying to run, if you don't mind. Where's this took me to? Do you have an idea who owns that area? It's very confusing. Oh, dude, where the fuck am I? Oh my god, I definitely didn't want to do that, did I? You can't go over here until you beat the region league, sorry. Dude, where am I? Oh, my days, this is taking me way far back. I mean, I still, I still don't know where I am, but it's taking me far back. Okay, so let's fly back to...
We should be able to fly to that Egalo town there. And just see where that... Yeah, go through that tunnel again and then not jump off that ledge. See where that takes us. It's a drowsy. See, he would prefer a drowsy. And I went down this way, didn't I? Yeah, there's another way to, you can go, but... I want to explore this way first. Yeah, come on. Bloody ditto. Oh, God. oh, speaking of ditto, I finally got a ditto in Pokemon Go. Excitement! As in, I didn't catch it. Our lass was logged into hers while she was out. She was playing. She caught one, and she logged it into mine and got mine for me as well. I have been trying to catch that thing for like three months. Not even kidding. <sighs> Very tempted to use the repel right now, because this is getting tedious every two fucking steps. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Once we get back through here, make sure we don't jump over that stupid uh, thing again. We should be okay. I feel like this feels like part of Cinnabar. So, if I step on that, does it take me back there? Yeah. Okay. So we know we can get back there if we ever need to. Would we ever need to? Probably not. Let's have a look what's in here. Ooh! Hey, have you seen my special amulet? I need it. Yeah, sure, I've seen it. Bring it to me for a big reward. Okay, so... You're Savari's own warden in Gen 1. That's what you are. And I'm going to go into the Savari zone and find your amulet, I suppose. Right, so that is literally all I can do up there. So that's interesting. The park. That girl said park in Egalo Town, and I bet that's the Safari Zone. And if it is, that's good, because it means another encounter. Which I need as many of as I can get my hands on right now. But before then, even, I want to go back in this cave, because I want to see what's this way. Oh, we can surf. Which makes me think we're going to... Okay, so I can't go that way. Alright, so I can't go anywhere yet until I get strength, so that's fair. At least we know now. And into the park we go. Welcome to the park. For just 500. Yes. Wow, that's literally all my money gone. Uh, I need to get through this the first time. I'm not going to. So whatever I encounter first is my first encounter. And it is a magma. I only level 24. Mm, I could switch train it though. But I need to make sure I catch it. Oh, it runs away. <sighs> Damn it. Well, so that means I can't... I literally can't catch anything in here now. He says throwing balls. Uh, so that way is not the right way. Oh, I'm so annoyed at that. Wait, I can't get anywhere. Oh, wait, or do I need to surf? Alright, so I need to surf across there. Throwing balls again, honestly. I can't catch it! Stop! Oh, it's run away anyway. Oh, I can't believe I've scammed myself out of that encounter. So frustrating. Right. Nugget, that's pretty useful. But still not really what I want. What I need is... Ah, stop trying to catch things. Oh, I've done it again. What I need is uh, that dude's amulet. So I can just go straight back to him, get strength, have it over with. Thanks, Magmar. Well, no thanks. Well, here's a house. I'm catching Pokemon to take home as gifts. Where did my boyfriend Eric go? Well, that was a waste of time going in there. Let's go to the north. Yep. Oh, man, I would have loved that Magmar as well. That thing would have bodied everything that could have hurt my water types. Well, actually, no, it wouldn't have bodied ground types, but it would have been good. So we're in Area 2, and we're going to go 
top path. Worth remembering, I don't actually know where we're going here. It's a different... Oh, come on, what a waste of time. It's a different uh, layout to the actual Gen 1 Safari Zone. So, oh man, I keep pressing the wrong button. Alright, I've got an illegal nid around. Yeah, I'm going to call him that. Don't want him. And I'm just hoping that we're going the right way, because if not, this is a real waste of time. Also, if I don't get it this ta this ga this go blah fuck off, if I don't get it this go through, uh, I am going to call this the end of the episode, and I will do it off camera and then come back for the next episode where you won't have to watch me running around like an idiot. What's that full store? I'm wasting my steps on that man. 162. All right, let's take it easy. I don't want to waste any more. Oh, I don't know which way I'm going now. Although, that house seems hard to get to, so I feel like that might be the right way. I feel like this is out of the way enough to be the end. And there's Jinx. Nah, this isn't the one. How many did you catch? One that I shouldn't have caught. I caught a chance here. That makes this all worthwhile. Fuck you. I'm tired from all the fun. Fuck you too. What are we on? 100 steps. There's an item there, though. If that is... No, oh, come on. If that's the dude's... No, it's not. TM48. And what, I ask, is TM48? Rock slide. Useless slide. Oh, man. Well, at least I know where not to go next time. It's, uh, it's going to help me get there faster when I'm re redoing this bit. 30 steps. Oh. Another trade stone. Could be useful if I run into something that needs that. Well, I was never going to get anything from the first go round. It's just going to take a few tries. But it's another encounter wasted. So if we have a look at what the team is at the end of this, ignore the bottom three because they're all illegal. The three Pokemon... Uh, think about it, Wade. The two Pokemon on my team are... Saviour. He's a water type. He's a Blastoise. He has Hyper Beam, Dig, Surf, and Ice Beam. And he came through for me against the old Alakazam earlier, so I'm happy with him. And next we have Psyduck, another water type, and he's not so good. I've not even, oh, I didn't even name him. That's how upset I was about him. He's going in the box anyway, so it doesn't really matter that I didn't name him. Um, I'd like an encounter, like, at a decent level. That'd be nice. But anyway, also we have a Psyduck, that's a good thing to have. No problem. Scratch Tail, Whip and Bubble, good moves. Not. So thank you very much for watching, that was episode 16. I'm just glad that I'm not having to call this the finale. Instead I'm going to call it the finale? With, you know, with like a question mark, so you don't know if it's the finale. Because that's how you do fucking suspense, y'all. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe, I appreciate it a bunch. And I'll see you all next time for episode 17, where we're going to finish off whatever's going off in that park, go back to that guy, and then work out where to go from there, because I'm totally lost. Thank you all very much for watching. Peace.